What's up, you guys? Welcome back. So a long time ago, I did a community tab asking you guys, what do you struggle with when it comes to drums? And you guys sent me a ton of comments. And I just wanted to let you guys know, officially today, my drum course is now live. And I covered pretty much everything in those comments. And I will be adding more lessons to that course. So make sure to click the link in my bio and check the whole thing out. But I want to give you guys a free lesson it is my full kick drum technique, like different techniques I use with the pedal. How do I like apply doubles with your single foot? All of it. Make sure to check this out. Make sure to hit the like button so YouTube will promote this to all of you guys. And uh, yeah, continue to support. If you guys are really looking for this, I highly recommend you guys check out the course. Also, for the first 10 people that grab the course, I will include you guys in a big giveaway. I have a bunch of sticks. I still have my first stack that I been using for a while. Like it, all, only the OGs remember that stack symbol setup. But I still have that. Just a ton of stuff. Even even reaction videos I can feature you on the channel. Stuff like that to just show my appreciation to you guys' support. Make sure to check out everything. It'll be the first link down in the description box below. And hope you enjoy this lesson. All right, you guys. So for this lesson, you guys have been asking. I'm going to break down my foot technique. And I'm going to show you a little drum hack that you can do. Especially if you're a beginner and you're struggling with doing doubles. Uh, this is definitely gonna help you out, so stay tuned. All right, so I'm gonna give a close up, and I took my shoes off for this reason. Real quick, the my foot technique is I play heel up, so pretty much, obviously my heel stays up. So the first hit when I use the double technique, it's always gonna be a hit back, and then I do one more hit forward. So it's, I'm using mostly my ankle. So it goes back and then it goes forward. And to really build up the strength right up in here in my shin area, you literally play heel down with the same exercise that I did previously between the singles between your right hand and your right foot. So. gonna feel it right here you literally got to push through it the second you feel this keep going for a, a, like another minute it's gonna tighten up and everything but when you're done it, this is gonna get stronger and you're gonna be able to move your foot and use your ankle a lot easier so that's pretty much the technique back forward All right, so here's the little drum hack. Every bass, every kick pedal has this on there. You're gonna need a drum key, and right here, this is what controls with how close the beater is to the drum set. So, so you wanna loosen it up. So once you loosen this, it should go right to the drum head. So you wanna pull it till it gets around here and tighten it up. Actually, that's still, bring it back a little bit more. And right here, so now, when you slide, you're going to feel the tech, like you're going to see your foot do this. It's easier to do this technique. I recommend no shoes, or if you got any dress shoes or church shoes, put those on because that actually helps this out. So once you loosen this and you feel the technique, I recommend doing this over and over again. You're going you're gonna to develop muscle memory with how your ankle and your foot moves to do this technique. You're gonna see how it's a lot easier to do doubles, but you're not gonna be able to do them loud enough. That happens when we put this beater back the way it was. But right now, once you get the hang of doing doubles, I recommend trying to do triplets with the pedal set like this. That's gonna force you to rely on the technique that you were able to, to learn. Even try to do fours. Even if you can't, the fact that you're trying to do those three is gonna make doing doubles completely easy. And then when you get used to it again, 
bring it back the way you had it. And you're going to notice that your muscle memory is going to kick in and you're going to be able to do the technique. Then it's just repetition. And you can work on doing kick, kick, right. Or kick, kick, right, left. Or right, left, right, left, kick, kick. Work on stuff like that and you're going to notice a, a complete improvement on your double bass. So that's pretty much the technique. Make sure to check out the setting with the meter and uh, yeah.